Hello. Today I would like to show you how to open the Clansman 17 plug. As you can see I've got a different one. Each of them looks a little bit different. But all of them use the same principle. So if you learn in any of this you will be able to open the most of them. Maybe except the, the 90 degree one. So what's the the plug is made from we've got uh, two elements that need to be unscrewed first one is a strain relief which can be longer or shorter one but it need to be just unscrewed from the center element and after that we need to unscrew the internal element that is hold between that part and the center one and we have to block this one from rotating and unscrew that but that's a problem because there is not a good access to grab it if you grab it like that you're going to bend it because there will be a, a large force I was also trying to stuff the pliers like that but the only thing I do I destroy a plug as you can see I I damaged it completely so I was looking for a, a solution that will be easy and cheap and it is to use a panel plug panel connector and if you mate them together you've got a very good grip over here that's absolutely not going to move and now we can unscrew that element first we remove the the strain relief and by the way for all of this operation I recommend you buying this tool this is a uh, use in the automotive industry for changing the oil filter it, it was very cheap well made China stuff very cheap but it's a very good tool because if you use pliers you're going to left the markings over here and they are looking very unprofessional so if you if you care about that about your plugs looking good then I definitely recommend you going with the oil filter and you have to make sure you can buy one that's go into a very small dimension and you have to remember that this go only in one direction so it's not you have to use it upside down if you want to change the, the direction from opening to, to locking because you cannot use it like that because it will take out that's how it's made but that was only a small digression so when we unscrew the strain relief and if that is locking hard then you have to grab that element you put one in that direction and second in that direction and you just unscrew it when you lose it you continue by your fingers and as you can see we've got a couple of elements over here which are not very important for us at the moment we've got a, a very good seal all that element are just making a watertight connection and as you can see we've got our central element and we've got a blocked our internal part and now it's just a way of unscrewing that and same thing if it cannot be unscrewed by hand you just put the tool get a good grip and unscrew it of course you can use plier if you don't care about leaving a scuff and we can remove that element and after that that silicone seal we've got access to our pins so we can solder to them and one of the plugs some use a solder some of them use a crimp terminal I was able to solder to them to one of the the plug that's quite a dirty job
because the cable is is damaged from the all the years. But yes, that's how you opening your your clansman plug, and you reverse in the same way. If you have this this piece of equipment, you have to put it over here. That's preventing from pulling the the cable. So very very nice made, and it have to go into that small hole. You can see, and we just screwing it back. Same, we can use this tool. Go in that direction. Make sure it's tight. Then we put our gasket. I'm not sure if I will be able to put it back because the cable is completely damaged. It's worn out. As you can see it deteriorating completely, and it needs to be replaced as soon as possible. And when you locking this up, if you want to have a good seal, I would recommend you grabbing again some over here and just making it tight. And that's all. You unplug it and you've got your new build Clansman 7 pin plug. And that's that easy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.